problems at Colwyn Borough. The infighting and allegations of corruption. Now new problems have come to light. Harry Hairston and the NBC10 investigators uncover what some say was a backroom deal to take over the borough. Can you tell me you did not violate the Sunshine Act? I, did, I walked into Paul Brown's house. Is that a yes or no, Fred? I, I, I'd say, I'd say yeah, but the ends justify the means because we never hurt the borough. So you admit it? I admit I walked over to Paul Brown's house and were three other you council You violated people. that law. Pat was Pat, Pat was out there with a the camera. And you got caught. I got caught. He got caught by another council member. I videotaped several members leaving Paula Brown's house. Councilwoman Pat Williams refuses to show us the video, but says she caught council members Paul Muser, Jesse Brundage, Masara Camara, and Fred Lesher on camera going into and leaving the borough manager's home on December 29th, 2014. That's four out of seven total council members. Brad, were your council members getting together at Paula's house on the 29th of December? Paul was having a party. I don't really party. I know I stopped over and dropped a newspaper <laughs> article. I'm telling you. Brown acknowledges the get-together. She says it was a holiday tradition. She even told us the mayor was invited. But council members Colette Prey, Martha Van Aken, and Williams were not. The fact that you had a majority of council members or any elected officials meeting in somebody's home, uh, you got a majority, um, that would not meet the sunshine requirements. Ed Canetto is the senior director of the Pennsylvania Association of Boroughs. He says it's a violation of the State Sunshine Act for elected officials to conduct government business in private. The act protects the public's right to see its government at work. By law, uh, there are certain times you can get together and certain times you can't. Williams believes decisions were made, including lowering taxes and one targeting her. Was decisions made to vote me out as President Fred? Was it this? Don't be honest. The very next day, December 30th, the four council members called an emergency meeting and removed Williams as president. Newly elected President Paul Muser even had his gavel ready. Who cannot take a vote from Sit down. Council members and the mayor had a chaotic meeting, in part because of the party the night before. And you say, what about that little get-together? Hey, you know, I don't think anybody got hurt. The taxes were lowered the next day, and that's what counted to me. We reached out to the other council members invited to the party. Councilman Brundage told us that he was there at council members. Muser and Kamara did not respond to our phone calls and emails, and no one from the Colwyn Council has been charged with breaking the Sunshine Act. Now, the DA would handle any case and at most would issue a fine. Well, do you want the NBC 10 investigators to check out the public meetings in your